Genesis 18, verse 16. Abraham intercedes for Sodom. Then the men rose from there and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to send them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? Since Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I have known him, in order that he may command his children and his household after him, that they keep the way of the Lord, to do righteousness and justice, that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. And the Lord said, Because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grave, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the outcry against it that has come to me. And if not, I will know. Then the men turned away from there and went toward Sodom. But Abraham still stood before the Lord. And Abraham came near and said, Would you also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there were fifty righteous within the city. Would you also destroy the place and not spare it? For the fifty righteous that were in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing as this, to slay the righteous with the wicked so that the righteous should be as the wicked. Far be it from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? So the Lord said, If I find in Sodom fifty righteous within that city, then I will spare all the place for their sake. Then Abraham answered and said, Indeed now, I who am but dust and ashes, have taken it upon myself to speak to the Lord. Suppose there were five less than the fifty righteous. Would you destroy all of the city for lack of five? So God said, If I find there forty-five, I will not destroy it. And Abraham spoke to God yet again and said, Suppose there should be forty found there. So God said, I will not do it for the sake of forty. Then Abraham said, Let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Suppose thirty should be found there. So God said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And Abraham said, Indeed, now, I have taken it upon myself to speak to the Lord. Suppose twenty should be found there. So God said, I will not destroy it for the sake of twenty. Then Abraham said, Let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak, but once more. Suppose ten should be found there. And God said, I will not destroy it for the sake of ten. So the Lord went his way as soon as he had finished speaking with Abraham. And Abraham returned to his place.